Marcus Aurelius once told himself, do not be overheard complaining not even to yourself. The act of complaining even in solitude goes beyond just releasing frustration. Think about it. When you complain, you're essentially confirming to yourself a mindset of helplessness and weakness. Aurelius was wise enough to recognize that being powerful is as much about your perceptions as it is about reality. And thus, by seeking solutions, instead of whining, he portrayed an image of strength and self-sufficiency, thereby perceiving himself as more capable and powerful. Therefore, this stoic rule is key for mental resilience. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. If you wish to be a stoic, you must confront your own perceptions and judgments, actively challenging how they shape your responses to the world around you. We will uncover seven signs that are not stoic and understand their implications and learn how to realign with the principles of stoicism. Sign number one, you react rather than respond. Are you someone who often finds yourself reacting impulsively to situations rather than responding with calm deliberation? If you frequently react with anger or aggression when faced with disagreements, arguments, or challenges, this behavior is at odds with stoic principles, which emphasize rational response and emotional resilience. Stoicism teaches the importance of mastering one's emotions, particularly anger, as it is seen as a weakness and disruption to rational thinking and effective decision-making. An aggressive reaction often leads to poor outcomes and can damage your own mind and relationships, both personal and professional. If you notice that your first instinct in difficult situations is to lash out or express anger, this suggests that you are not practicing stoic restraint. Stoics believe that true strength lies in the ability to maintain calm and think clearly under pressure, not in the capacity to dominate or intimidate others. How does your temper affect your decision-making and relationships? A bad temper can cloud judgment, leading to impulsive and regrettable decisions. In relationships, frequent displays of anger can create an environment of fear or resentment, which is contrary to the stoic value of mutual respect and understanding. If your temper often gets the best of you, causing rifts or misunderstandings with those around you, it's a sign that stoic practices may help you find balance. Stoicism doesn't merely suppress anger, it offers strategies to understand and manage emotions constructively. Stoics use techniques like reflection, meditation, and perspective taking to cool down before responding, ensuring actions are thoughtful and not destructive. Consider the times when your anger led to results that were harmful or unintended. These instances highlight the stoic warning against letting passion override reason. Stoicism teaches that every incident of anger is an opportunity to learn and to practice better control in the future. If reflecting on these moments makes you realize the cost of uncontrolled anger, both to yourself and to others, it's a strong indication that embracing stoic methods could improve your life significantly. Stoics strive to turn every experience, especially challenging ones, into a lesson in virtue and self-improvement. Anger and aggression can feel justified in the moment, but often work against our long-term goals such as building lasting relationships or maintaining a peaceful and productive work environment. Stoics advocate for aligning one's actions with one's principles and goals. If your aggressive behavior is hindering your progress towards these objectives, it is counterproductive and unstoic. Stoicism teaches that self-control and patience are essential for achieving lasting success and fulfillment. Stoicism holds that personal growth comes from self-awareness and self-regulation, if aggression is a frequent response for you, it may be stunting your emotional and moral development. Stoics believe that overcoming impulsive reactions like anger is crucial for personal evolution and for living a life consistent with one's values. By allowing aggression to dictate your responses, you are likely missing opportunities to develop greater resilience and wisdom, qualities highly valued in Stoicism. Understanding what triggers your aggression can provide insights into how well you are practicing Stoicism. Stoics encourage followers to be mindful of their reactions to external stimuli, advocating for a pause between stimulus and response to choose the most rational and beneficial action. If certain situations or behaviors consistently provoke you to anger, 
Identifying these triggers is the first step in learning to handle them more stoically. If your current strategies for managing anger are ineffective, it may be time to adopt more stoic approaches. Stoics use techniques such as cognitive reframing, which involves changing your perspective on a situation to see it as less threatening or offensive. They also practice premeditatio malorum, which is the anticipation of potential challenges and the preparation of rational responses. If your methods are not helping you maintain your composure, exploring stoic practices could offer more effective solutions. Imagine the benefits of responding to challenges with composure rather than aggression. Stoicism can lead to better health, improved relationships, and greater professional success. Stoics experience less stress and more satisfaction in life because they focus on what they can control and let go of what they cannot. By adopting a stoic approach, you could enhance your ability to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and effectiveness. Stoicism is built on virtues such as wisdom, justice, courage, and moderation. Aggression often contradicts these virtues, particularly moderation and justice, which require balance and fairness in all actions. If your emotional responses frequently clash with these virtues, it's an indication that your behavior is not aligned with stoic principles. Regular self-examination helps identify these discrepancies and guides you towards more virtuous behaviors. Stoics idolize the wise person, who is characterized by rationality, emotional control, and moral integrity. This ideal serves as a model for Stoic practice. If your actions and reactions are far removed from this ideal, particularly in terms of handling anger and aggression, it suggests that there is significant room for growth in embracing Stoicism. Stoic wisdom doesn't just happen. It requires effort, practice, and the willingness to change one's behaviors for the better. By addressing these aspects of aggression and bad temper, you can realign your actions with Stoic principles, fostering a life of rationality, peace, and virtue. This shift not only benefits you personally, but also improves the lives of those around you, embodying the true spirit of Stoicism. Sign number two, engaging in gossip and negative talk. Do you frequently talk about others when they are not present? Stoicism teaches the importance of speaking with integrity and refraining from gossip or slander. If you regularly engage in discussing others behind their backs, it might indicate a deviation from Stoic virtues. Stoics believe in the power of words to uplift or degrade both the speaker and the listener. Gossip not only harms those who are spoken about, but also diminishes the character of those who speak it. It breeds mistrust and can destroy community harmony values that Stoics hold dear. Moreover, indulging in gossip reflects a focus on externals that Stoics warn against, such as other people's actions and lives, rather than on personal improvement and virtue. How often do you participate in or initiate conversations that involve criticizing others? If your conversations frequently center around the flaws or mistakes of others, this habit is contrary to Stoic principles. Stoics advocate for focusing on one's own faults and improvements, rather than highlighting or exaggerating the faults of others. This focus on external critique can distract from valuable self-reflection and personal growth. Stoicism encourages us to look inward and seek our own moral betterment, which is hindered by preoccupying ourselves with the shortcomings of others. Engaging in such discussions can also lead to a toxic environment where negativity prevails further straying from the Stoic ideal of fostering positive, supportive relationships. Consider why you feel compelled to talk about others. Is it to feel superior, to fit in, or perhaps out of boredom? Stoicism teaches us to act with purpose and ethical intention, not out of base impulses. If your reasons for discussing others are not aligned with Stoic virtues of kindness, truthfulness, and constructive growth, it's time to reconsider your motivations. Stoics would advise against any speech that doesn't serve a virtuous purpose, such as encouraging or educating others. Negative talk can significantly impact how others perceive you and can erode trust and respect in your relationships. Stoics value the development of a virtuous character, which is incompatible with the habit of speaking ill of others. They believe that our character is formed by our actions and words, thus engaging in negative talk can hinder your quest to live a stoic life. Furthermore, 
Gossip can alienate friends and colleagues who may worry that they could be your next topic of gossip. Stoics emphasize focusing on what we can control, our own thoughts and actions, and letting go of what we cannot control, such as the behavior and lives of others. Gossip inherently involves a fixation on matters outside our control and can lead to frustration and unhappiness. By discussing others, we waste precious energy that could be spent on improving ourselves or helping others in meaningful ways. Stoics strive to speak only what is true, necessary, and beneficial. Before sharing information about someone, ask yourself if it is true, if it is necessary to be shared, and if it will benefit those who hear it. If the answer to any of these questions is no, then it is likely that sharing this information is unwise and unkind. Stoicism teaches us to avoid idle talk and to use our words to support and uplift rather than to harm or belittle. Reflect on how you feel after you have spoken about someone else. Stoicism teaches that virtuous actions contribute to a sense of peace and fulfillment. If you feel guilt, shame, or discomfort after gossiping, these are indicators that such behavior is not in line with Stoic ethics. Feelings of discomfort serve as internal signals that our actions are not virtuous and are therefore not contributing to our moral and emotional well-being. Stoics practice empathy and strive to understand others rather than judge them harshly or superficially. When you talk about others, consider whether you are being empathetic or if you are unfairly judging them without understanding their circumstances. Stoicism encourages us to give others the benefit of the doubt and to approach every person with compassion and kindness, recognizing that we all face struggles and that harsh judgment is rarely productive or fair. Instead of engaging in gossip, Stoics would recommend constructive and uplifting interactions. This could involve discussing ideas, sharing knowledge, or offering support and encouragement to others. If you find yourself in a situation where gossip begins to surface, try steering the conversation towards more positive and meaningful subjects. This not only aligns with stoic values, but also enriches your interactions and relationships. Consider the long-term benefits of maintaining a stoic approach to speech. By avoiding gossip and negative talk, you cultivate a reputation of integrity and trustworthiness. Over time, this can lead to deeper, more genuine relationships and a more fulfilling life. Stoics understand that true happiness comes from living a life of virtue and refraining from harmful speech is a key component of that virtue. By addressing these aspects of gossip and negative talk, you can realign your habits with Stoic principles, fostering a more virtuous, respectful, and fulfilling life. Sign number three, succumbing to impulsive and destructive habits. Do you often find yourself turning to substances or behaviors that offer immediate gratification but long-term harm? Stoicism teaches the importance of self-control and the pursuit of long-term well-being over short-lived pleasures. If you frequently indulge in habits like excessive alcohol consumption, drug use, or viewing explicit materials, it indicates a divergence from Stoic ideals. Such behaviors are often used as temporary escapes from stress or discomfort, yet they contradict the Stoic practice of facing and resolving underlying issues directly through rational thought and self-discipline. Engaging in these habits can disrupt your physical health, emotional stability, and spiritual growth, which Stoics regard as interconnected and essential for a fulfilled life. How do your habits affect your ability to live a virtuous life? Stoics strive to live virtuously, meaning in a way that promotes their own good and the good of others. When you allow destructive habits to take precedence over your well-being, you hinder your ability to act virtuously. These habits often lead to behaviors that are not only harmful to yourself, but potentially harmful to others, such as neglecting responsibilities or treating others poorly due to your impaired state. Stoicism teaches that every decision should contribute to a life of virtue. If your choices are leading away from this, it is a sign to reassess your actions. Stoic philosophy emphasizes the importance of understanding what is within our control and acting accordingly. If you feel controlled by your impulses rather than in control of them, this lack of self-mastery is a significant concern within Stoic practice. Stoics advocate for developing the willpower to resist harmful impulses, focusing on cultivating strength of character and resilience. Succumbing to impulsive behaviors 
suggests an area of your life where Stoic principles can provide guidance and support in regaining control. Understanding why you engage in these behaviors is crucial for overcoming them. Stoics believe in the power of reason to overcome passions and impulses. By identifying the triggers or underlying issues that lead to your destructive habits, you can begin to address them in a constructive, rational manner. Whether it's stress, anxiety, or unmet emotional needs, confronting these root causes is a step towards recovery and aligns with the stoic method of problem-solving through understanding and rational action. Your relationships can be severely affected by destructive habits. Stoicism holds that relationships should be based on mutual respect and kindness. If your behaviors are causing distress or harm to those around you, this is contrary to Stoic ideals. Additionally, such habits often lead to isolation as they can push people away, diminishing the supportive relationships that are important for a balanced life. Reflecting on how your actions affect others can motivate changes that enhance both your well-being and your relationships. The Stoic practice includes caring for one's physical health as part of living a virtuous life. If your choices are compromising your health, this is a direct contradiction to Stoic values. Long-term indulgence in harmful substances or behaviors can lead to serious health issues, reducing your ability to live fully and act according to your values. Stoics advocate for a life that optimizes health and vitality, supporting the pursuit of virtue and active engagement in the world. Destructive habits often require not just a physical and emotional toll, but also a financial one. Stoicism teaches prudence and the wise management of resources, including time and money. If you find that significant amounts of your resources are being consumed by these habits, consider the opportunity costs. What beneficial activities or investments could these resources otherwise support? This reflection can highlight the discrepancy between your actions and Stoic principles of resourcefulness and moderation. Stoics value the opinion of the wise and seek to maintain a reputation that reflects their commitment to virtue. If your habits are damaging your reputation or how you view yourself, this is at odds with Stoic teachings. Stoicism promotes living in a way that not only feels right internally, but also aligns with a respectable external appearance. Maintaining integrity in both private and public life is crucial for self-respect and for fulfilling social and professional roles effectively. Stoicism values freedom through wisdom and rational self-governance. Destructive habits bind you, limiting your freedom to make wise choices and to act independently of compulsions. Consider how your life might be different if you were free from these impulses. How much more could you achieve? And how much more peace might you experience? Stoics pursue inner freedom through discipline, a valuable state that is hindered by succumbing to short-term pleasures. Stoic philosophy offers many strategies to combat harmful habits, such as reflecting on the transient nature of pleasure, practicing self-restraint, and meditating on the benefits of living virtuously. By applying these strategies, you can begin to weaken the hold of destructive impulses and align your actions more closely with Stoic ideals. Embracing Stoicism can provide the philosophical support necessary to transform these impulses into opportunities for growth and self-improvement. By addressing these aspects of destructive habits, you can align more closely with Stoic principles, fostering a life of rationality, virtue, and genuine happiness. Sign number four, harboring jealousy. Instead of cultivating contentment, do you often feel envious when others succeed or acquire something new? Stoicism teaches us to focus on our own path and virtues rather than comparing ourselves to others. Jealousy is seen as a detrimental emotion that distracts from personal growth and self-improvement. If you frequently find yourself feeling jealous of others' achievements or possessions, it may indicate a departure from Stoic principles, which advocate for inner contentment and the pursuit of personal excellence. Stoics believe that envy stems from a misunderstanding of what truly constitutes good in life, believing it lies in external goods rather than in one's own character and actions. This misguided focus can lead to a perpetual state of dissatisfaction and unrest, as external circumstances are inherently unstable and often beyond our control. How do you react to the accomplishments of your peers or family members? If the success of others, including extended family members, makes you feel insecure or less successful, 
This is a sign that you are not embracing Stoic values fully. Stoicism encourages us to rejoice in the good fortune of others as we would in our own, promoting a sense of community and mutual support. The philosophy teaches that another person's success does not diminish our own unless we allow it to. Instead of feeling threatened, a Stoic seeks to learn from the successes of others and use it as motivation to foster their own virtues and capabilities. Jealous thoughts can often lead us to irrational conclusions and negative mental states. Stoics work to curb such thoughts by recognizing the intrinsic value of leading a virtuous life, independent of material possessions or social standing. If you often begrudge others their wealth or status, it may be worth examining how closely you adhere to Stoic teachings, which prioritize personal virtue and rational living over external achievements. A true Stoic finds contentment in what they have, practicing gratitude and minimizing desires for more. If you constantly feel a lack or a need for more than what you currently possess, this could be a sign that you are not living in accordance with Stoic ideals. Stoicism doesn't promote asceticism per se, but it does encourage adherents to question the necessity and value of their desires, focusing instead on enjoying and appreciating what they already have. Stoics believe that true validation comes from within, from knowing that one is living a life of virtue and moral integrity. If you find yourself seeking validation through comparison or through the acquisition of things that elevate your status in the eyes of others, you may be straying from Stoic principles. Such behavior indicates a reliance on external sources for happiness and self-worth, which is contrary to the Stoic pursuit of internal peace and stability. Jealousy often manifests not only in response to what others have, but also in response to perceived injustices or inequalities. If you often feel slighted when others receive something you believe you deserve more, it's essential to revisit Stoic teachings about the nature of fairness and justice. Stoics maintain that external events and distributions of resources are indifferent. It is our judgments about these events that disturb us. They would advise focusing on maintaining personal integrity and doing one's best, regardless of the outcome. If your concept of happiness and success is tied to outperforming others or having more than they do, this mindset runs counter to Stoic beliefs. Stoics define success in terms of one's own character and choices, rather than comparative metrics. They argue that true happiness stems from living in harmony with nature and reason, which involves mastering one's desires and reactions, not accumulating more possessions or accolades than others. A lack of self-reflection and unwillingness to adjust one's perspectives are indicative of a non-Stoic attitude. Stoics are committed to continuous personal growth and the development of self-awareness, which includes recognizing and overcoming feelings of jealousy. If you rarely take time to introspect or find it difficult to change your views on success and contentment, this may be an area where Stoic practices could help cultivate a more fulfilling and balanced life. Through understanding and addressing these signs of jealousy, you can begin to realign your emotional responses with Stoic philosophy, focusing on personal virtue and contentment rather than external comparisons. This shift not only enhances personal well-being, but also strengthens relationships and fosters a more supportive and empathetic community. Sign number five, deception and manipulation of others, instead of practicing honesty. Do you find yourself scheming or manipulating situations to your advantage? Stoicism advocates for honesty and integrity in all actions. If you often find yourself manipulating others or twisting situations to benefit yourself, it is a clear sign that you are straying from Stoic virtues. Stoics believe in transparency and straightforwardness as a way of life, promoting trust and respect in all relationships. Manipulative behavior is seen as a weakness, a reliance on deceit to control outcomes instead of relying on one's own virtue and effort. Stoic philosophy teaches that true power comes from self-mastery and the ability to remain unswayed by the temptation to skew reality for personal gain. How often do you engage in deceit to achieve your goals? Engaging in deceit, whether through outright lies or omission, is contrary to Stoic ethics. Stoics prize the truth highly, understanding that honesty fosters genuine connections and long-term trust. If you find yourself frequently bending the truth to navigate challenges or to advance your own interests, consider this a significant deviation from the path of Stoicism. 
Stoics would argue that enduring success and peace come from living authentically and accepting outcomes as they naturally unfold, without resorting to deception. If your initial response to being caught in a lie or manipulation is to fabricate further or to deflect blame, this not only deepens the non-Stoic behavior, but also hampers your personal growth. Stoics would use such a moment as an opportunity for self-reflection and to realign their actions with their principles. Being discovered should prompt a re-evaluation of methods and motivations, guiding one back to Stoic ideals of honor and integrity. It's not uncommon to rationalize manipulative behavior as a necessary evil or the only way to achieve certain ends. However, Stoicism teaches us to question the morality of our actions and to choose the right path, even when it's the more difficult one. If you find yourself justifying unethical behavior for personal or professional gain, you are likely compromising your Stoic integrity. Stoicism doesn't seek to justify the means by the ends. Rather, it holds that virtue in the means is an end in itself. Manipulative behavior can damage relationships, creating an environment of suspicion and resentment. Stoics understand that healthy relationships are built on mutual respect and honesty. If your actions are causing rifts in your personal or professional relationships, it's crucial to consider how adopting more stoic behaviors, openness, fairness, and respect for others' autonomy could repair and deepen these connections. Often, engaging in manipulation can lead to feelings of guilt, anxiety, or unease, emotions that are at odds with the stoic goal of inner peace. Stoics strive for a clear conscience, which comes from acting virtuously and transparently. If manipulative tactics leave you feeling disturbed, this is a stark indicator that such actions are misaligned with Stoic philosophy, which values tranquility and emotional stability. In the short term, manipulation might seem to yield benefits. However, Stoics look to the long-term consequences of their actions. Persistent manipulation can lead to a lack of trust and a reputation that may hinder deeper connections and opportunities. Stoics believe that a virtuous character is the most valuable asset one can have, and compromising this for short-term gains is seen as a poor trade. Stoicism teaches respect for all individuals and their capacity for reason. When you manipulate others, you essentially disrespect their ability to make their own reasoned choices. This not only devalues them, but also reflects poorly on your character from a Stoic perspective. Respect and empathy are fundamental in Stoicism, promoting harmonious and fulfilling interactions that manipulation undermines. A desire to control outcomes can often lead to manipulative behavior. Stoicism encourages acceptance of things we cannot control, focusing instead on our own virtues and reactions. If you feel a compulsive need to control situations and people, this need for dominance is antithetical to Stoic acceptance and could be detracting from your happiness and virtue. To truly assess whether you embody Stoic principles, consider how consistently your actions align with Stoic teachings. Stoicism is not just a philosophical concept, but a way of life that demands integrity and honesty in all dealings. If manipulation is a recurring strategy in your behavior, it's a strong sign that you need to revisit and commit more deeply to Stoic principles, aiming to cultivate a life of transparency, virtue, and genuine self-reliance. These reflections can guide you to understand where you may be diverging from Stoic ideals and how to realign your actions with the noble goal of living a virtuous, honest life. Stoicism doesn't just discourage manipulation. It offers a robust framework for personal development that encourages us to be our best selves, free from the shadows of deceit. Sign number six, engaging in polarization and social media toxicity. Do you often find yourself embroiled in heated debates or polarizing discussions on social media? Stoicism teaches the importance of maintaining harmony and rational discourse, values that are often compromised in the heated atmosphere of social media. If you regularly participate in or initiate divisive conversations online, this behavior indicates you are not Stoic. Stoics advocate for communication that promotes understanding and peace rather than deliberate conflict and division for entertainment. Engaging in polarizing discourse can lead to stress, affect mental health, and damage relationships, both online and offline. Additionally, such interactions rarely resolve differences but tend to deepen them, 
pushing opposed parties further apart. This not only harms your personal tranquility, but also contributes to a wider culture of antagonism and misunderstanding. How do you respond to views or comments that challenge your beliefs? If your reaction to opposing viewpoints is to impulsively attack or belittle those who hold them, rather than engaging in constructive dialogue or just ignoring it and move on, it is a sign that you are not practicing Stoic tolerance. Stoics believe in the power of reasoned argument to persuade and enlighten, rather than coercion or belittlement. When faced with disagreement, a Stoic approach would involve calmly presenting your perspective and listening openly to the other side. This fosters a more inclusive and respectful online environment and aligns with the Stoic ideal of mutual respect for reason and logic. Engaging in polarizing social media activities can significantly impact your emotional state. Stoics strive for inner peace and equilibrium, which can be disrupted by constant exposure to conflict and negativity online. If you find that your time on social media leaves you feeling angry, frustrated or depressed, it's important to reassess your online habits. Stoicism encourages activities that enhance personal growth and peace, suggesting a need to limit or modify your social media interactions to better support your well-being. Stoics teach that not every battle is worth fighting, particularly those that disturb your peace without achieving any constructive outcome. If you find yourself frequently drawn into online debates that end with no resolution or positive change, question the value of your participation. Choosing your battles wisely and focusing on discussions that lead to productive outcomes can help you live more harmoniously with Stoic ideals. Social media should not be a substitute for real-life interactions, but a supplement that enhances them. If your online behavior is damaging your real-life relationships or causing you to neglect face-to-face -face interactions, this is a sign that your social media habits are misaligned with Stoic principles. Stoicism places high value on personal relationships in the community, advocating for balance between online engagement and real-world connections. Sign number seven, indulging in vengefulness. Instead of practicing forgiveness, do you find satisfaction in plotting revenge or holding on to grudges against those who have wronged you? Stoicism teaches the value of forgiveness and the importance of letting go of past harms. If you often find yourself scheming revenge or holding grudges, it suggests a departure from Stoic virtues. Stoics believe that no good comes from returning harm for harm. Instead, they advocate for responding to injustices with understanding and rationality. Harboring vengeful thoughts not only disrupts your inner peace, but also contradicts the Stoic ideal of living in harmony with others. Such behaviors can isolate you, foster negative emotions, and lead to a cycle of retaliation that damages all involved parties. Stoicism holds that true strength lies in the ability to maintain one's moral integrity, even in the face of personal affronts, by choosing forgiveness over vengeance. How often do you find yourself ruminating over past offenses? Stoics teach that dwelling on past offenses is a misuse of mental energy and a barrier to personal growth. If you spend significant time ruminating on past slights and plotting retribution, you are likely straying from the path of Stoic tranquility. Stoics would advise focusing on the present and things within your control, rather than being consumed by past grievances that cannot be changed. This fixation not only prevents you from moving forward, but also keeps you chained to the very people and situations that caused you pain. Stoicism promotes emotional liberation through forgiveness, encouraging us to free ourselves from the burdens of past conflicts. Do you immediately think of ways to get even, or do you seek to understand and overcome the situation constructively? Stoics view adversity, including moral transgressions by others, as opportunities to practice virtues like patience, understanding, and resilience. If your default reaction is vengefulness, this indicates a non-Stoic attachment to external validation and outcomes. Stoicism teaches that our well-being does not depend on the actions of others, but on our own responses, which should always be aligned with virtue and reason. Vengeful behavior can severely damage relationships, creating distrust and fear. If your actions driven by revenge have led to broken relationships, or if people are wary in their interactions with you, consider these as clear indicators that your behavior is out of sync with Stoic principles. 
Stoics value community and positive relationships, which are founded on mutual respect and understanding, not fear or domination. By choosing forgiveness over revenge, you not only mend and strengthen your relationships but also set a foundation for a supportive and trusting social environment. Holding on to vengefulness can lead to chronic stress, anger, and unhappiness. Stoicism aims to cultivate an inner peace that comes from living according to nature and reason, which includes releasing harmful emotions like spite and vengefulness. If you find that your desire for revenge is causing you emotional turmoil, it's crucial to reassess your values and align them more closely with Stoic teachings. Stoics believe that peace comes from within, and maintaining a vengeful heart is incompatible with the serenity that Stoicism strives for. Stoicism teaches that the only true good is virtue, and the only true evil is vice. Revenge is often seen as a vice since it arises from anger and resentment, emotions that Stoics strive to overcome. If your actions and thoughts are driven by a desire for revenge, you are valuing something external and uncontrollable, others' actions and the harm they've caused, over your own moral integrity. Stoics would encourage you to reevaluate such priorities and focus on cultivating personal virtue instead. Vengeful actions can have long-lasting effects that extend beyond the immediate satisfaction of retribution. They can lead to cycles of retaliation, legal problems, and deep-seated enmity that can last generations. Stoics consider the broader consequences of their actions, favoring those that promote long-term peace and stability over temporary satisfaction. If your pursuit of revenge is likely to result in ongoing conflict or turmoil, it is worth considering a more stoic approach of resolution and reconciliation. Stoics have a unique perspective on justice, which involves acting in accordance with universal reason and ensuring one's actions contribute positively to the world. If your concept of justice involves exacting revenge or punishing others without the aim of betterment or correction, this perspective may be misaligned with Stoic philosophy. Stoicism advocates for justice that restores and educates, not that harms further, promoting a healthier and more rational approach to wrongdoing. Indulging in vengefulness can stunt personal growth by focusing your energy outward on others' wrongdoings, rather than inward on your own development. Stoicism encourages self-reflection and self-improvement, ideals that are hindered by a preoccupation with revenge. If you are more focused on harming others than on bettering yourself, it is likely time to revisit Stoic principles and realign your focus towards personal virtue and improvement. Stoic philosophers like Seneca and Marcus Aurelius spoke extensively on the futility and destructiveness of revenge. They proposed that true nobility lies in the ability to be above revenge, to forgive and move forward. Reflecting on these teachings can provide a deeper understanding of how revenge conflicts with Stoic ideals. Embracing these principles can lead you away from the path of vengeance and towards a more fulfilled and virtuous life. These reflections are designed to help you recognize and correct behaviors that stray from Stoic ideals, guiding you back to a path defined by rationality, forgiveness, and moral integrity. Embracing Stoicism fully can transform not only your personal interactions but also your overall approach to life's challenges.